Hey guys, welcome to another video. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> Today I'm going to be going to get a new camera because I've noticed on my channel that people are more interested in my vlogs than my sit down videos. So is that true? If that's true, if you like to watch my vlogs more than you like to watch videos, let me know in the comments because I'm still trying to figure everything out. You guys know it hasn't even been a full year on YouTube, but I'm trying to pay attention and see what videos people like to watch because I'm here to entertain you but I still want to you know do what I like to do which is create content so making videos editing and stuff like that but I like making vlogs too so the first thing I was thinking to get a better camera for quality because I've noticed other vloggers using a certain kind of camera and I've seen that the video is like more clear so if ever I do get to start traveling again, the video would be good. And even in my day-to-day -day stuff, you know, you just want it to feel like you're watching like, kind of like a little reality show, you know? You want it to be good sound and good um, quality. So right now, the camera that I'm using like right now is the Canon 740HS. <laughs> And the two cameras that I'm thinking about getting are the PowerShot G7. And then I'm also looking at the Sony ZV-1, which I've been seeing everywhere. I've been watching videos and doing research on that one. And it just sounds really, really good. But the thing about that one is the battery, it dies quickly. And you know, for those vlogs that I'm gonna be out and away from a charger for a long amount a long period of time i don't know how that's gonna be i have i could hold extra batteries because i keep an extra battery even when i have this camera but a lot of people are saying that you're gonna need to carry like more than one battery because they were saying like one battery is about an hour and that is not a lot of time like i get because you're turning your camera off and on when you're vlogging it's not like you do a full hour but you don't want to have to worry about the battery dying so yeah, that's the only thing that steers me away from the Sony. And I just have Canon cameras, so that might be the reason why I'm kind of leaning towards the um, the G7. But the way the Sony looks is just so good and so crisp and so clear. So I'm not sure. But I'm about to get in my car and head over to Best Buy now and take a look at both cameras just for one last time and ask the people in the store what they think. My new camera and I decided to go with the Sony ZV-1 and I chose this camera because when I asked the person that was helping me they were saying that this is the most bought camera for vlogging and anything to do with making video so I'll get into everything let me just open it because I haven't even took it out the box yet I'm gonna keep these directions because I don't know if I'll need it. It comes with this cord and I was told that to charge the battery, you have to leave the battery inside the camera and charge it with this cord. Kind of like you're charging your phone, which is annoying because this camera that I'm using right now, this is the battery. This is my um, second battery. So there's one in the camera and then I can also go charge this one you know and swap them out and recharge so that's a little bit of a bummer but we're gonna see how it works because I have to know for myself and then I'll get an idea of how many batteries that I actually need I did pick up a second battery just in case because I know I'm going to be swapping them but I don't know if I'm gonna need another one yet because I haven't used it but so here is 
the muffler. I'm showing you guys everything before I even get to the actual camera, but it's right on top. So, so this is the sound, I mean, the, uh, the wind muffler. I was excited about this too. Like there's a lot of things like added to this camera that does help for things that you encounter when you're vlogging. So like when you're out and the wind is blowing, this is on it. And I have heard people use it on their cameras and I actually tell a big difference because with the wind blowing, you don't hear yourself at all. So it just clips on onto the top of the camera that I'm getting to. And finally, the camera. It actually kind of looks like this camera that I'm using in the other Canon that I was looking at, the G7. But this one flips out and my other camera flips up. So I don't know how, I guess that people say that they like the flip out to the side better than the flip up. But I guess I just got used to the flip up because I've been, that's my, this is my first camera. So I don't know how I'm gonna do with the flip out screen yet. Um, I mean, flip out to the side. Um, I don't know, I'm excited to use it and try it. And then, um, yeah, that's like the huge difference. Um, it's still small because I like my vlog camera to be small, no big lens because I like to just put it in my bag. Sometimes I'll take this off of my stand and just put it in my purse you know, if I need it when I'm out. And I can't really do that with a big camera that I use to sit down um, and do film, you know, because the big lens and everything. So yeah, so far so good. I love that it's small, just like my other one. Okay, so I noticed the speaker on top of this one. So I'm guessing that it's going to be better sound and pick up good. So this is where the wind muffler would go right here and okay let's put the battery in so because i know i have to charge it up so i also picked up a new card so i'm just gonna go ahead and put that in so i can use it when it's all charged up but this camera had another thing up on my old camera, which is the skin softening mode. I can't wait to play with that. I'm not gonna get into everything today and show you how everything works because I need to charge it and I'm basically just unboxing everything for you guys before I get to work it because I'm gonna need to play with it before I know how everything works. And it's all touch screen and digital and I'm so excited to try that. Okay, wow. I don't even want to show you this screen because you guys will be looking at my room, but let's see. Hey guys, welcome to another video. No, I'm just kidding. Oh. <laughs> but um, it looks, is the softening thing on now because I like that everything is touch screen and um, you pick your focal point. So I'm not exactly sure how to use everything, but I'm glad because I'm going to be going to my sister's house very soon and we're gonna have to play with this camera because she's probably gonna end up getting this camera as well. I'm not a big techie person. Like I just know like when I look through it, does it look good? Is it clear? and you know everything else like super high tech i'm not the person to be coming to but i can't tell you like does it shoot video good or do the pictures look clear like i could tell you the little stuff like that and the extra little things like the skin softening i can definitely fill you guys in on that so i'm gonna actually charge that up right now and then i'm gonna show you my accessories that i got for this camera as well and you see that the charger you flip this little thing open put the charger in and then i'm gonna have to put this into a you know, like a little plug. Next thing that I got was the vlogger kit that I've been seeing that goes with the camera. And when I was watching this online and on other YouTube videos, I felt like I didn't need it at all because 
I have my um, vlogging camera stick, which is what I'll probably be using most. But this one was a little bit lower and it has different features. Like my stand that it's on, that my camera is on right now, it doesn't have anything, it's just a stand. You can like zoom in, zoom out, take your pictures and stuff like that. It's a shorter stick, so I probably wouldn't use it all the time. It was a deal that if you bought the camera, you get this for $50 and it's usually one, hundred dollars or maybe one something but I got it for fifty dollars because I bought the camera so I was just like okay whatever I'll try it we'll see but this is what it's for and it comes with this um, I'm not exactly sure what this I guess this is to I'm gonna have to read all this y'all I don't really know right now I'm literally unboxing with you guys so I got it, but I'll figure out how it all works pretty soon. And I'll let you guys when I am actually using my new camera because I feel like I don't know if I want to use it yet before I know exactly how it works before, I, you know. So hopefully, um, it doesn't take me long to learn how to use everything. See, this stand is a lot shorter, like really short. And I'm used to having mine like out here. So, but it has the buttons on there. So you can record, so of course record, and then photo, and then lock, I'm not sure. This is the zoom in, zoom out though, right here, I can already tell. Um, like I said, I'm not a high tech person. I have to figure this all out and I'm used to Canon cameras because they pretty much all work the same. So I have a little bit of learning to do but I'm willing to do it and I'm excited because I want to see if the quality is that different then I can tell you guys really should you buy the Sony or the Canon. But if you guys haven't seen any video in the Sony ZV-1 YouTube that because it is like a movie. Oh, before I go, um, I wanted to let you guys know there was a big price difference between the PowerShot G7 Mark III and that was 500 something. And this camera was $800. So that is that, but you get the, and then you get the little stick for $50 if you buy the camera. So a big jump, but it does have more things than the G7 so I think it's going to be worth it I hope it is because I did buy it today so I'll let you guys know when I am shooting video with that and I'll let you know a more updated review of that camera when I start using it thank you so much for watching I'll see you guys next time